Picture this. It's Sunday afternoon and you are enjoying your weekend. You are relaxing, doing your favorite activities, having a good time. As time passes, you start to realize that Monday is tomorrow. You suddenly start to sweat and you can't keep your eyes off the time. If this sounds all too familiar, you may be experiencing the Sunday scaries. Let's discuss it. Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. My name's Isaiah Banks. I'm a mental health therapist and a certified fitness trainer. Today, we are discussing the Sunday scaries. We'll go over what it is, the effects, and of course, the solutions. Sunday scaries, a term coined by psychologists to describe the increase of anxiety that one feels when they realize that their weekend is coming to an end and their five day work week is quickly approaching. This anxiety that people feel typically is experienced mostly on Sunday nights, but for some people, they even experience this anxiety Friday or even Saturday nights. So this is something that people experience in advance and it affects their entire weekend. Most people experience sadness, melancholy, or even depression when they have this type of anxiety. This anxiety even affects people's sleep. In the 2022 sleep survey conducted by the American Academy of Sleep Medicine, more than a quarter of Americans experience issues with their sleep, especially Sunday nights. So of the seven days of the week, individuals experience most of the issues, falling asleep, staying asleep, the day prior to Monday. That says a lot. And again, it shows the weight that people carry throughout the week. When they're working their days, they get time off, they get time to relax. And then it's that transition from relaxing into going back to work. It's stressful for a lot of people. But luckily you have me. I'm gonna be providing you some solutions to combat the anxiety of returning back to work from the weekend. So solution number one, identify and replace those negative thoughts. So for example, let's say that it's Sunday night you're thinking about Monday, you're thinking about your work day and different tasks that you have to complete. Let's say one of the tasks is that you have to complete a lot of paperwork and you're dreading it. You're telling yourself, oh, it's so much paperwork I have to do. I'm not gonna finish it. It's gonna be horrible. So we identify a thought or a potential experience we may have. Let's now replace it. So instead of you thinking that you're going to go in, it's going to be a horrible experience, let's flip it into something positive. So to keep it realistic, you may have a lot of paperwork is a potential, but it doesn't have to be horrible. You could have a lot of paperwork, but you could still get it done. You could maybe have some music on. You could maybe have a nice breakfast that morning but you're going into it positive and you're experiencing optimism as you prepare for Monday's task. So it's a whole different way that you're approaching it and you'll start to even feel better when you think of it from that angle. Solution number two, engage the five senses for the grounding benefits. So grounding is something I always recommend I always suggest it to my clients and being able to be present and be here in the now. And these five senses that you have, the sight, taste, touch, smell, hearing, they're useful in allowing you to be present. And we can use this too for 
the Sunday scaries. So prior to Monday, whatever day you want to choose, whether it's Saturday or Sunday, have a day where you are engaging all five of those senses. So for example, you can have sight where you are setting up peaceful lighting in your place. You have some lighting that you have that calms you down. You have something you can see that relaxes you instantly. Secondly, you utilize taste. You can put some tea on, you can have your favorite meal, but have something that you enjoy that's gonna utilize and engage that taste sense. Next, you have touch. So you can have some soft clothes you can put on, you can maybe get a massage pad or something that's gonna engage the tactile aspects, right? And really see the benefits of that. And then the last two will be sound. So maybe you can have some music or listen to a podcast, but have something that's gonna engage that hearing. And then lastly, we're gonna have smell. So we're gonna have some candles, right? Something that's gonna relax you and calm you down with the scent of it. Um, for some people, they like lavender. Other people, they like the scent of vanilla or chocolate or even um, mint. So everybody's different. But having something that's gonna relax you and engaging all five of those senses is the goal. Solution number three, pick a weekday and turn it into a fun day. So this looks like you choosing whatever weekday you want. Maybe it's Wednesday, Tuesday, even Monday, but picking that weekday and doing something fun with it, doing something engaging. Maybe it's your favorite hobby, your favorite activity. Maybe you're going to a play or seeing a movie or even a music concert, but you're doing something that you are going to enjoy. It's going to be something you're going to be able to look forward to. And this is huge because once you have those thoughts of anxiety during the weekend and you're dreading Monday, after you combat those thoughts, you can start to look forward to the other weekday that you're going to have a good time with and you're going to really enjoy yourself during. So really set that up, really put something on your calendar that you're going to enjoy and make it consistent. Make it something that you're going to keep up with and add that into your routine. So that way, every week that rolls around, you're sticking with that fun activity or you're doing anything fun, whatever you choose during that weekday. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope you utilize the solutions I provided you and leave a like, leave a comment, Feel free to share this video with others who experience anxiety when the weekend is ending. And feel free to let me know if you have any questions. My email is in the description box below. And I will see you in the next video. Take care. Mm -hmm.